People might not understand exactly how the functions of the British Constitution work, but they get the gist of it. Once every five years, we go down the school hall or to a church, we put a cross in a ballot paper, they're all counted up, and the chap with the most votes wins. We get that. You try working out how a European commissioner is appointed. It's positively Kafkaesque. You can't actually get your head around who does what, why, and who is answerable to who. The European Union, which imposes laws on 28 countries, is made up of seven main institutions, which include the European Council, the Council of the European Union, the Court of Justice of the European Union, the European Commission, and the European Parliament. Do you know the difference between the European Council the Council of the European Union and the Council of Europe? It's a very good question. Tell me how many presidents there are in the European Union. How many presidents? Yeah. I'd guess at one. There's two presidents, for goodness sake. I don't know what the difference between the two four. presidents is. There's four presidents, you say. There are squads of committees and presidents of this and commissioners of that. The expression I really hate is pooled sovereignty. It's bollocks. The people of Slovenia have no more idea than the people of the UK and the people of Sweden or the people of Spain what in fact is going on. I wouldn't profess to understand the detail of how it all works. And I think part of that is deliberate. One side knows. One side is a priesthood and knows how it all works. And the rest of us, ordinary citizens, don't know how it works. A massive transfer of power takes place. It was devised to make sure that the great mass of the people could not control government ever again. 